I put up a video on black and white talking about Tommy Lauren and her primal scream as BGS Igmore put out because she's typically on that happy and the video is doing pretty well because I'm reactivating that channel but there was one comment I believe the commenter dis deleted it and he was talking matter of fact all right the commenter was the hip-hop records as a black man let's be honest she wasn't talking about us this was aimed at white dudes honestly it's borderline disturbing to see so many black youtubers breaking their necks to give this woman so much energy she doesn't give an F about us bruh she's a Nazi Barbie who made a living saying things about black people I'm gonna break out the world's smallest violin for her now I don't know because I can't find it so I think he deleted it but this is the fence that's around black America now as you watch my channels and you know me that I don't play the black hotep politic game I am an equal opportunity hustler I will take Jewish money I will take Asian money I will take white money I will take black money I don't care and this is one of one for but there are many people who have a fence around black America because he said quote as a black man and this is one of the most damning things that black America has going for it because when you see yourself quote as a black man you limit yourself and your opportunities let me say that again when you see yourself as a black man you limit your yourself and your opportunities I've had this conversation before with many many people but once again this is the fence around some of black America that if it ain't black politic black Boyce Watkins is you know a financial information on a black perspective money does not care if you're black money doesn't care if you're green money doesn't care if you're purple what the hell is financial advice from a black perspective I don't get it I don't understand it but this is one of the fences this is a fence and this is a limiting factor because when you bring all of that garbage through the door you offset any positivity when I signed up as an outside furniture salesman and little did I know when I got into it that I was one of five black salesmen in the city of Atlanta at the time operating on a corporate level I had no clue as I got in the industry and I began to notice that it was very very white and I began to hear of a few other black salesmen I met two of the other five so that was three of us who got together and when I went into that business I made a conscious decision that I wasn't going to go into it as a black man and it doesn't mean that I'm not proud to be black I'm not happy that, that has nothing to do with it I went in it as a man now we're talking about equality how are you ever going to get equality when you don't see yourself as equal from jump let that marinate I'm gonna say it again how are you going to get equality if you don't see yourself as equal from jump this is where the negative den denigration of as a black man you see yourself less than and when I went into office furniture sales I was like I'm not going to go into it as a black man uh, I'm going to go into it as a man and I'm going to ask my customers if I don't get the deal what did I do wrong and I went in there open and honest and I got so much positive feedback because I did not go through the corporate door with the black man garbage that I was able to operate and become effective and become a better salesperson because I remember the first time that I did it because I, I remember that I was dealing with the client and then they went radio silent and I waited a few weeks and I was like look I understand I didn't get the job but I have a favor to ask of you what did I do wrong was it my pricing was it my attitude I'm not gonna beat you up I just want to know so I can become a better salesperson and then she sat me down 
and she said there was some other stuff that I was competing with that I didn't know that they brought better prints and other stuff and I was taking notes taking notes because you know this woman gave me time out of her busy day because she was super busy and she says I really appreciate this and then she gave me a referral to a friend who was get by, who was buying office furniture so since I didn't go through the door with this black man crap, this limiting crap, because I here here's the thing. To all my beautiful black people who are watching this, I want you to see yourself as equal. I don't want you to denigrate yourself. I don't want you to downgrade yourself. I want you to see yourself as equal. Right now, there's a lot of beautiful things that are going on. There are so many young people who are doing you know, I, I talk crap about Forex because most people are, are not successful. But there are some young people who are defying the odds and who are doing big and bold things because they see themselves as equal. They see themselves able to play the game. They see themselves as part of the process. They don't see themselves as, quote, I am black, therefore I am less than. Because I'm here to tell you that if you think like that, you have limiting beliefs about yourself and about your abilities and this whole thing with the Tommy Lauren thing because you know he, he was like borderline disturbing for a youtuber in the men's space to talk about a woman that made a video that said men was trash what is borderline disturbing about that see I think he had a Jill Scott moment. Remember when Jill Scott had an issue with black men dating white women and a lot of people kind of came down on Jill, but the truth of the matter is there are many black women who feel the same way that Jill Scott does. They feel exactly the same and this is once again the fence around black America. Because you know, I get it because when I was doing Disruptive Mail I said put yourself in the position to date the best woman, not the best black woman. The best woman for you might be Asian. The best woman for you might be white. The best woman for you may be Latina. But because you've put a fence around your selection's choice, that's the pool that you fish in when you could potentially do better. And this isn't to denigrate black women or to say that they're bad, but your soulmate, the person that you vibe the most with, may not come from the same cultural background as you do. I know that's hard for so many people to take because here's what happened to me. I am a nerd and my whole life I've been talked about my views and fortunately for me that from a physical standpoint I was rather large so I didn't really get picked upon but I did have some of my friends question me and I always knew that I was different and as a black male nerd without swag, without any of this stuff, your choices with the black female politic are going to be limited. And when I opened up the door, and I remember the first time I opened up the door was in the eighth grade in high school. My first girlfriend was a white, redhead, green-eyed girl. First girlfriend in life. Because she liked me because I was smart while other black women were ignoring me because I was smart and there are some of you who will hear this message and it will resonate with you because you've been through it and it's time that we stop acting like this thing doesn't happen because the fence around the black America is a limiting obstacle it is a limiting self-belief it is a limiting action because you know we got to do it right we got to keep it black what is keeping it black means exactly put that in the comments I really want to know what that means because see I'm trying to keep it abundant I'm trying to live on the well I am living an abundant lifestyle I'm trying to live make money educate people be well be happy do things recently I've changed my diet and I feel fantastic because I'm I, you know I love I absolutely love the Burger King croissant I love it but I realized that it doesn't love me so I've been replacing that with a smoothie for the last week and I've been eating a salad and chicken for lunch because when you know better you do better you know I know my high risk at having another heart attack if I don't start 
doing things differently. And the black American politic is going to have a heart attack if it doesn't start doing things differently. You know, um, there are many books that, that talk about this, but there are many black Americas. There's always been a well-off, rich black America since slavery. There's always been that small segment. And what's happening is we have a, you know, I don't believe there are black folks in the N-words. I don't think so. That's too slippery slope. I think there are progressive black people and non-progressive black people. And what's happening is more and more people are joining the progressive ranks of the progressive black people. More and more people are starting businesses. More and more people are doing stuff. Since the, the Rona, I have seen more YouTube advertisements from black people than I have in the last 10 years. So a lot of black people are like, hey, I can be a digital nomad. Hey, I can be a YouTuber. Hey, I can be a podcaster. Hey, I can be a course creator. These are the progressive black folks who are not mired in and steeped in, we gotta keep it black. Whatever that is, once again, please put that in the comments because I want to keep it progressive. I want to keep it happy. I want to keep it positive. I want to keep it abundant. I'm not trying to keep it black because one of the things about being a little black nerd is I learned at a very early age not to give a damn what people thought about me. I really don't care what you think about me. This is one of the reasons I, it gives me the license to say the things. Recently on Savage Finance, I created a video that killed a sacred cow. Well, you know, you should always contribute to your 401k. In my opinion, based upon my economic knowledge, a 401k is trash. If you bought one rental property, got it paid off before retirement, that will serve the average American better than a 401k. You want to know why? It's the numbers and the math. The average 401k balance is $92,000, which is woefully insufficient for retirement. The average American doesn't make enough money to fund the 401k properly. But no one talks about this. But because I don't give a damn what you think about me, it gives me incredible license, it gives me incredible freedom to say and to put out the content that I want to put out because I really don't give a damn because you don't pay my bills. Pimps don't pay my bills. No, you know, essentially at the end of the day, I can put out what I want to put out and talk about what I want to talk about versus trying to be in this black box of, you know, because O'Shea, I like O'Shea. O'Shea, he's in the black box because O'Shea's tried to do several types of content, but you know, the celebrity junk thing is working because that's what black folks are consuming. You know, like on Savage Finance, the videos I talk about investing in the stock market because I don't have enough swag with it. Like the Wall Street Trapper, he's doing a really good job educating people about stocks and, you know, to get people over to Forex and stuff. You know, the Swaggy C's, um, the, I believe this guy's name is Nash, that there is a certain element of flash like Omni and the Hellcat. Let's talk about keeping it black. Omni and the Hellcat put up a YouTube channel showing him flexing amazingly hard and he's never really sat down and said exactly how he made money. And you know what? The black politic don't care. They love the flash. They love the flash. So what if we're not going to be about substance? So what if we're not going to get down to the basics? So what if we're not going to break this thing down where the average person can understand it? We don't care about that. Mm -mm. Show me buying a hurricane. Yeah, Omni's a good dude. Omni's a good dude. And essentially he did something illegal to get the money he got. Don't care. Don't care. Matter of fact, that is the black power move blueprint. Let's take the Wall Street Trapper. Uh, I'm glad the brother has turned his life around. He's on the positive track. And he's actually talked about when he left that life. And he's like, man, it's so different. It's like I make this money and I don't have to worry about going to jail or someone trying to kill me. And that seems to be a archetype. Go to prison, come out, reformat your life, get clean, 
But because you now have that street cred, you have that prism cred, which many black people appreciate. I don't really appreciate going to prison. I don't, I, I don't think that, that should be celebrated. But it is celebrated in the black community that someone can go to prison and take that street cred, street tactic, street stuff, and turn it corporate while attaching all types of blackness to it. People dig that. People get down with that. I have people who want to sit here and question me. And I, I, today I actually had to break someone off because he was trying to give me constructive criticism and I told him, it's like, unless you are richer than me, which you're not based upon the things you're saying, I'm not going to listen to you and your constructive criticism because you're not in a position to give me constructive criticism. Can you pay cash for a house? Can you pay cash for a car? No, then shut up. See, part of it is, and this was when I was attacking the sacred cow of a 401k, he wanted to actually talk junk. See, when you leave comments, I'm a good forensic detective. I can figure out where you are, what color you are, all this other stuff based upon your wording and how you write your comment. And here's a person who was talking about putting in 10% in a 401k. That told me a lot about him. It told me he never had any big money. He's never seen cash money of 10, 15, 20 thousand dollars. He was just an average American trying to elk out his way in this mess. And see, what I'm trying to do with all of my channels is elevate you and make you weird. I want to make you weird because as long as you stay normal, you're not going to get anywhere. I want to make you weird. I want to make you atypical. I want you to make you someone different. I want you to become aggressive. Like, take this savage finance model. Long-term emergency fund, short-term emergency fund, family operating account. This is going to give people twenty to about fifty thousand dollars cash money in the bank. You know what percentage of Americans have that kind of money in the bank? It's less than seven percent. Seven percent of three hundred and sixty something, three hundred and thirty million people. Seven percent, not ten percent, which would be thirty-six million. It's like seven percent. Less than 20 million people out of 330 million people have that kind of money in the bank. 7%. I want you to become a part of that 7%. I want you to expand that 7%. This is why I'm giving you the content, I'm giving you the perspectives, and this is why I'm trying to break you out of the fence, break you out of the jail, liberate you, tear down that fence so you can stop limiting yourself because you're simply black. I mean, Kelly Stamps, check her out. She's funny. She is a awkward, quirky black girl that a lot of black dudes would not date. And she's progressive. I wanted to be a point in the future where someone like Kelly Stamps would not be looked upon as an awkward black girl. She'll just be looked at as a cute little girl the way that she is. Because this blackness label, this black, aggressive black tactic is corrosive, it's dangerous, it's limiting. And when I saw that comment, because I was gonna roast him, but I think he deleted it, I was like, bruh, you know this borderline disturbing for men in the mental spirit to talk about a woman talking man, what's borderline disturbing about that? See, this is one of the dangers. The black, uh, poly, the black population makes 14% of the country. So you only want 14% of the country's business or do you want 100% of the country's business? If you start a business, think about it. Just think about it. All right, so that's all I got for you guys. What I want you to do is to go below, get 30 days to 2,500. Go below, get the Hustlers Mindset, Pimping Your Mind for Success. Go below, sign up for the Oxygen Banking app. And then start your side hustle and funnel that money to your oxygen banking app. You go ahead and hit that link. I get 25 bucks, you get 25 bucks. And after you fund the account to 200 bucks and use the debit card five times. So that's all I got for you. Trying to be progressive, trying to take it to another level. So let's do that together and let's not keep it black. Let's keep it just 
positive, abundant, and successful.